new business ideas for 2013. Maybe you have, a, you have wanted to go in business for a long time and you never really got the, the courage. Well, 2013 is here and uh, 13 to many people is a lucky number, so why not for you? I can only give you some ideas and uh, my 30 years experience can uh, definitely uh, be an asset to you if you want to use it as an asset and if you want to contemplate going in business in this uh, this year that uh, should uh, should be of uh, of um, advantage to you because the economy is moving moving in the right direction and there is time for you to take your chances uh, one thing i have a for a long time I have uh, um, emphasized is uh, to be conservative. When you're going in business, be conservative. Do you, I don't know if you heard the story about uh, uh, the secret of how to make a small fortune. Well, the story goes like this. If you want to make a small fortune, you should start with a big one. That's what most of the times the case is. People that have a lot of money at their disposal have uh, also a propensity to spend it very easy and not to succeed. So you can't buy success with money only. No. I think actually you hardly can buy it with money unless you have uh, already a, a billion dollars. Then in that case you can buy a lot of things. But uh, other than that, you need to make it. And I think if you start with the idea of a small cafe with an espresso cappuccino and the panini and the, some desserts, possibly gelato in a, in a little small way, that would be a wonderful idea. That can be achieved if you are not for the glamour and the wow uh, it can be quite uh, the idea to follow because uh, you can uh, catch the morning with the coffee and uh, the cappuccino. You can catch the most important part of the day, which is lunch. Between 11 and 3, you can make uh, all your budget. And then you can catch dinner too, some uh, light dinners. So that would be my first idea. The next, I think I would like to tell you about uh, a panini shop. Just think about offering panini starting 11 in the morning to 10 at night. You can add a piadina to it, which I can explain to you and, tre and uh, train you to, to make it a glamour out of it. And uh, you can make... Uh, A, quite a success out of panini. Cappuccino as a second uh, thought, maybe maybe for uh, for somebody that wants to come in and uh, surf the net and drink a cappuccino. But mainly, I think panini would be the idea. Uh, the, another idea would be to to start a piadina shop. Piadina is. Uh, a culinary uh, choice of uh, the young in the in the Rimini area of Italy, where there is a flat grill that you flat uh, surface hot service grill where you pour a concoction of flour and water, and uh, it will uh, uh, solidify at at about uh, uh, one quarter inch. Then you turn it around and you make yourself like uh, like um, uh, the, the 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 side or whatever you want to put for the for a basically a panini but very thin with a very thin 
and you put inside prosciutto, mortadella, whatever you choose, any meat, any cheese, that would be quite a, a novel idea that uh, not too many people are yet following. And uh, if you could uh, open a, a drive-through only uh, cappuccino and uh, and some uh, juicy juices, uh, blended juices, granita, and so on. That would be another idea to to have. But uh, I think 2013 could be. You can call me anytime. Eight one seven six four zero three one three one. Dominic will answer you. Will answer you any question, and it's free. Grazie. Ciao. Arrivederci. <laughs>